Hey guys, it's Mr. Post, and on tonight's video, we'll be rolling with dilution problems. And in this first one, we have a 0.7 molar solution, and our job is to produce 50 milliliters of a less intense diluted 0.4 molar solution. So really what's going on, we're starting out with a concentrated 0.7 molar solution, and we're going to be adding water to it to dilute it down to 0.4 molars. Now that makes sense, you know, if this is pretty strong, we're going to add some water to that original solution, and it's going to become a little bit weaker. Now, here's the catch though. I only want to produce 50 milliliters of that solution. How are we going to go about it? There's a formula we use in chemistry, and it's called M1V1 equals M2V2. Now, M stands for the original molarity. And what we want to find out is how much of that original molarity do we need to have? How many milliliters or liters do we need to start out with? And then, how much water will we need to add to that to get to this new molarity with that new volume? So the problem is telling us that we want to dilute it down to a 0 0.4 molar solution. That's 0.4 moles per liter. And specifically, we want to produce a 50 milliliter volume. Now, where is that going to come from? We want to know how much of my original 0 0.7 molar solution we need. And actually, that is what we're solving for first. There's two parts to this problem. First part is what we're going to work on right now. Number one, how much volume, how much of the original 0.7 molar solution do we need to begin with? That's what we're going to focus on right now. When I rearrange this problem algebraically, let's do a little bit of algebra here. We're going to multiply each side by 1 over 0 0.7, and that's going to cancel that out right there. And we'll do the same thing here. We'll multiply this side by 1 over 0 0.7. In a sense, we're literally going to be doing 0.4 times 50 divided by 0 0.7. What are we trying to do? We're trying to isolate the variable V1. So let's take two seconds, guys. Let's take out the calculators and plug and chug. Press pause. Just make sure you can do the algebra as well and get the numbers that I'm getting to. And it turns out that I need about 28.6 milliliters of my original concentrated solution. That's awesome. That gives me part of the problem. So what, do we, what did I just find out here? How much of the 0.7 molar solution do I need to start with? I needed to begin with 28.6 mLs. Awesome. But here's the deal, dudes. We got to make a 50 milliliter solution. And right now, you only have 28.6 in there. So you have your graduated cylinder. It has 28.6 milliliters. That means you have to fill it up with water to get to the 50 mark. What's the next step? Well, how much water do I need to add? I'm on question number two. How much water do I need? Pretty cool here. Well, originally, I want to have 50 milliliters. Right now, I have 28.6 milliliters in the graduated cylinder. Let's subtract that, guys. And it turns out that I will need 21.4 milliliters of water to dilute that 0.7 molar solution down to a 0.4 molar solution. All right, dude, so there's our two answers. Originally, I needed 28.6 milliliters of the original concentrated solution in order to add 21.4 milliliters of water to that to make a 0.4 molar solution. Awesome. Let's go on to the next problem. Now, you've seen one problem done. It's probably a good idea for you actually to press pause at this point. Try the problem on your own. See if you can solve it. I'm coming with the answers anyway, so take a shot at it, guys. In this example, we have a 16 molar solution. That's pretty concentrated. Your job is to produce 2 liters of a 1 molar solution. So I have a 16 molar solution that I will dilute by adding water to it to make 2 liters of a way, way less concentrated one molar solution. Alright dudes, first question, how much of the 16 molar solution do I need to start with? We're going to go back to our formula, 
m1 v1 equals m2 v2. So what do we got to fill in these uh, the variables here? The second molarity is I need a one molar solution. And specifically, I need two liters of that. I'm going to start this out with a 16 molar, very concentrated solution. And we want to know how much do I need to start out with. And then I'll fill it up with water to get the two liters. So let's do some algebra here, guys. We're going to divide both sides by 16 molar, and that will cancel out that side. And we'll divide this side by 16 molar as well. What have we done? We've isolated the volume. So let's crunch the numbers, guys. Let's do a little plugging and chugging and solve for volume. It turns out the volume is going to be very small that we need. When I do 1 times 2 divided by 16, I end up needing 0 0.125 liters. That's like saying I need 125 milliliters of this concentrated solution. So it might be easier for us to just express that as 125 mls, something we can easily imagine. And now I'm going to fill it up with lots of water to fill it up to the 2 liter mark. So step number one, how much do I need? I need 0.125 liters. And step number two, how much water will I need to add to that previous amount in order to fill it up to the 2 liter mark? Not too bad, dudes. What are we going to do? I need to make 2 liters. Right now, I have 0 0.125 liters. Let's do a little bit of subtraction here. And the answer is, I need to fill this up with 1.875 liters of H2O. And that is going to be my answer number 2. So in a nutshell, we took a very concentrated solution. We took 0.125 liters of it, and when we added 1.875 liters of H2O to that, we ended up with a one molar solution. All right, guys, that's all for tonight. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Have a good night.